We're recognizing achievement in the arts and in Louisiana's culture with a, a whole series of awards that have been uh, selected by folks across the state, people who have made major contributions to the arts life of Louisiana, uh, the cultural well-being of our state, and uh, we're giving a couple of special awards we've created uh, to recognize lifetime achievement and other special contributions to the arts. I'm Pam Bro. I serve as Assistant Secretary of the Office of Cultural Development, and I'm pleased to welcome you to our 2014 Culture Awards Dinner. Shortly after Lieutenant Governor Darden was elected to office, he performed a really nice service for the team at our Office of Cultural Development. He spent a day at our office to personally meet the staff and to get to know our programs and services. So as you might expect, uh, that time was met with great excitement by some members of our staff but as you also might expect, I mean, the Lieutenant Governor is right there in our offices. And so some of us were pretty nervous about the uh, opportunity. Uh, but at the end of the day, what came out of that was very, very special. You know, those uh, uh, moments where all of the members of our staff had the opportunity to talk with him about what they do on a daily basis. You know, that kind of exchange of ideas and creative energy resulted in a number of things for our agency. One of the most important is that the Lieutenant Governor made a commitment the very same day uh, to highlight culture in a big way in the year 2014. And I'm so pleased to share with you that today and this evening helps us do just that. This evening, we get to celebrate the 2014 Culture Award winners, and we also get to celebrate some significant anniversaries. Uh, this is a big anniversary party for culture, for decentralized arts funding, for Main Street, for Archaeology Week and Month. And, uh, and so, it was all inspired you know, by that first day uh, that our team had the opportunity to spend uh, just talking about culture in Louisiana with the Lieutenant Governor. And with that, I'd like to ask our Lieutenant Governor to come forward and welcome you before our program begins. Thank you very much. And let me, let me first of all recognize and thank Pam and her very hardworking staff uh, in the Office of Cultural Development. Would all of you please stand up wherever you are in the, in the OCD office, and thank you for what you do. These folks work awfully hard in a lot of different areas. We also have a number of folks from Lieutenant Governor's office and the Department of Culture, Recreation, and Tourism. If the rest of you who are here would please uh, stand up and let us thank you for what you do on behalf of culture in Louisiana. This has been a, a beautiful day of celebration of Louisiana's artistic and cultural legacy. And it's a beautiful night tonight, a relatively comfortable night, uh, considering it's often usually warm out here. But uh, it, it's appropriate that it's a beautiful day today because all of us are always involved in putting the bright side on what makes Louisiana special. And that is our rich history, our cultural diversity, and the appreciation for preservation and the arts that this state uh, has, uh, much more so, I would suggest, than other states in this nation. And it's important that we remember the significance of culture in identifying what Louisiana is all about. Um, I'm always telling people in, that tourism, and all of our agencies work together, tourism and state parks, the state museum system, the Seafood Promotion and Marketing Board, the state library, uh, every aspect of what we do in the Department of Culture, Recreation, and Tourism works together, not in silos, but compatible, recognizing that what lifts one is going to lift all of them. And so in, in tourism, we always talk about the unique nature of Louisiana and the tremendously rich legacy that our former Louisianians have left us and that our obligation is to carry on for the next generation of Louisianians and recognizing the economic significance of what the arts and culture means to Louisiana. And if any state in America ought to treasure and celebrate its artistic legacy in the performing arts, the visual arts, the culinary arts, and every aspect of the genre of arts, it's the state of Louisiana. And you are the folks who do that on a daily basis. We appreciate what you do, and we thank you for what you do. And I want to encourage you, as we did earlier today, to make sure that the policymakers who 
toil daily for 85 days in that state capitol realize the importance of the arts and the importance of culture in the lifeblood of Louisiana. It is not a luxury, it is a necessity if we're to have a vital economic life here in Louisiana. So thanks to all of you for what you do. I want to recognize and thank some members of the Louisiana Endowment for the Humanities who are with us tonight. Uh, we had a wonderful meeting earlier this week and, and a newfound partnership that is going to exist going forward with that organization that is undergoing some changes right now and with our organization because our missions are so compatible and we're looking forward to working closely with the LEH in the days ahead and we appreciate what you do uh, to spread the word about Louisiana's culture. Um, let me also recognize uh, newlyweds Jacques and Mallory Rodrigue. Um, congratulations to the Rodrigues. And as you'll see in your program, we have a number of awards tonight. A number of you are being recognized for your great work in res your respective fields. We have some additional awards, Lieutenant Governor's uh, Passion for Culture Awards that we're gonna be pleased to present. And for the first time, uh, the George Rodrigue uh, Lifetime Service Award for Culture. Uh, a very special award that is now being named in honor of the late George Rodrigue, who uh, set, such, set such a high standard for the artistic community in Louisiana, one of whom we're very proud and we're grateful to, to Jacques and the family for allowing us to name that award in George's honor, and he's being remembered very fondly tonight. Uh, so again, thanks to all of you for being here and thanks for your support of the arts and cultural life of Louisiana. It's going to continue to be one of the uh, mainstays of, of Louisiana as we move forward in the days ahead. So congratulations to all the winners. I'm going to be standing here to take a lot of pictures and shake a lot of hands and we'll get through this as quickly as we can. Thank you for joining us tonight. If you haven't had a chance to see the awards uh, up close, I would encourage you to try to do so, especially as they circulate, as they're distributed this evening. They are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they are our Oscars. Uh, and incidentally, uh, the awards were both designed and created by Baton Rouge-based artist Brad Burgoyne. He couldn't be with us uh, today, but uh, he provided such an amazing service and we're so proud uh, to share his sculptures with our winners this evening. And here we go. We will begin with archaeology. Uh, would Dr. George Reiser please join the Lieutenant Governor on stage? Dr. Reiser is with the Louisiana Archaeological Survey and Antiquities Commission, and he will help the Lieutenant Governor present this year's Archaeology Award. This year's Archaeology Award uh, goes to R. Christopher Goodwin and Associates of New Orleans. This company is an award, yes, absolutely. This company is an award-winning cultural resource management group with 30 years of experience in the preservation disciplines. The company's contributions to archaeology have been recognized at local, state, and national levels and reflect its commitment to excellence in preserving the nation's heritage. They manage incredible programs that have made an enormous difference in Louisiana, including hazard mitigation grant program on behalf of FEMA. So a lot of folks remember that. And, uh, and they did a fantastic job on behalf of archaeology and preservation. Congratulations. <laughs> Moving to the arts, Michael Eccles, would you please join the Lieutenant Governor? Uh, Michael serves as chairman of the Louisiana State Arts Council, and that group deliberated on the many arts nominations received from across the state. And the first award will be the Cultural District Award, which goes to Downtown Lafayette Cultural District. Congratulations. <laughs> the district is a leading example of what can be done for culture in Louisiana when individuals and organizations come together to address community needs. This important Acadiana neighborhood has implemented and been a part of countless popular programs for the public to enjoy and to drive cultural tourism, including Festival Internacional de Louisiane, which brings in approximately 400,000 people to the district. 
Literally, this organization has helped to reinvent the face of downtown Lafayette, and it's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next award takes us to Shreveport. Henry Price is the Arts Supervisor for Caddo Parish Schools, President of the Shreveport Regional Arts Council, and a member of many arts boards in Shreveport and Northwest Louisiana. Price has long led arts education initiatives in Caddo and Bossier, helping to firmly establish visual arts and music instruction as part of the core curriculum. The Louisiana Arts Educators Association recently named him Outstanding Arts Supervisor, and we are so pleased to honor him tonight. Henry Price, congratulations. a distinguished history of arts and education development. Next, our Arts Leadership Award goes to Chris Cangelosi of Baton Rouge. Chris directs the dance education program as artistic director for Cangelosi Dance Project. She has a strong reputation as a dance leader in the state. In addition to her regular work as a dance teacher six days a week, she has led many individual projects that demonstrate her commitment to the artistic discipline of dance, including mentoring high schools and other outreach programs and choreographing more than 200 works a year that are performed at the Manship Theater and other community events. She has a distinguished history of local and national honor. Congratulations, Chris Cangelosi. The Culinary Arts Award goes to Reconcile New Orleans, also known as Cafe Reconcile. Reconcile New and Greg uh, Armantrout is receiving the award this evening. Reconcile New Orleans is a program committed to Louisiana's delicious indigenous cuisine and at-risk youth who face extreme poverty, high school attrition, homelessness, violence, and more. The program gives students life skills, job training, and work experience necessary to become productive, contributing members of society. More than a thousand graduates have gone through the program. It's very fine, and it, it appears to uh, be at the point where it's being replicated now in other areas of the state, which is a great sign of an extent outstanding program. Congratulations, Cafe Reconcile. The Outstanding Arts Organization Award goes to the McNeese Banners Cultural Series in Lake Charles, and Patricia Prudhomme is, will join us on stage representing Banners Series as their director. The McNeese Banners Cultural Series substantially elevates the cultural climate in Southwest Louisiana and is a model for presenting organizations in the state. What began as a small program has delivered 20 years of diverse programs and performances, from award-winning poets to Chinese acrobats, in an effort to help Southwest Louisiana become a bigger part of the global economy. Congratulations. And I might add, the program is in great hands under Patricia's leadership. Our Artist of the Year Award goes to Wayne Amade of New Orleans. Wayne's career has, has spanned four decades. He has earned numerous awards for his work, including a Rockefeller Grant, a New Orleans Museum of Art Award, and Loyola University's Jesuit Award for People for Others. He has produced several large-scale permanent installations, most notably in City Park and at Loyola New University in New Orleans, which has gained him well-deserved critical acclaim and gallery representation. He spends a great deal of time as a mentor to young people, and his passion for the arts is amazing. Congratulations, Wayne. I'd like to ask Winnie Bird to please join us on stage. Uh, Winnie is a member of the Louisiana Folklife Commission, and the commission deliberated upon our new Folklife Heritage Award. This year's award 
goes to Goldman Thibodeau of Opelousas. Goldman has been a tireless advocate for maintaining and promoting traditional Creole music. That's the music often referred to as Lala. He first began playing the accordion at 14 years old, and from 1966 to 1994, he played with the celebrated musical group, the Lawtel Playboys. Thibodeau was a Grammy nominee in 2007 and has been recognized at the local, state, and national levels for his commitment to preserving traditional music. Congratulations, Goldman Thibodeau. Absolutely. I'm pleased to invite Dr. William Arsenault, president of CODAFIL, the Council for the Development of French in Louisiana, uh, to the stage to join the Lieutenant Governor in the next award, which is Le Prix de la Franco Responsabilité. Senator Eric Lafleur has represented Louisiana Senate District 28 since 2007 after representing Evangeline and St. Landry parishes in the Louisiana House of Representatives beginning in 2000. As a legislator, one of Senator Lafleur's most committed platforms has been the preservation of the French language and Cajun and Creole cultures in Louisiana. He filed legislation supporting Codafil and providing it with new missions, objectives, which included the development of at least one French immersion school in each of the 23 parishes that make up Acadiana. You know, the list goes on and on. He's done seminal work uh, within our state that is having a profound effect on the present and the future of French language development in our state. Thank you for that service and congratulations. <laughs> I'm pleased to ask Michael Eccles, a man with many hats, to join us again on stage in his role as president of the Louisiana Trust for Historic Preservation. You know, we talk about culture connection and certainly connecting the arts and preservation is a part of that, and Michael embodies that in one body very nicely. Also, uh, I want to ask, is Representative Wesley Bishop here? Uh, he wanted to participate in uh, giving out this award, but I know the world is busy across the street. This award uh, is the Main Street Award, and this year it goes to St. Claude Main Street in New Orleans. Uh, Jonathan Rhodes will be receiving the award on behalf of the organization. Since it was founded in 2007, St. Claude Main Street has worked to revitalize the St. Claude Corridor and build a climate of cultural expression by improving economic opportunities, beautifying the streetscape, and amplifying its cultural assets. Uh, they established a really important facade grant program that helps businesses improve their storefronts. They also initiated a series of open-air night markets which I would love to visit, incidentally. I'm sure many of us would. Bringing together local artisans, food vendors, and entertainment for community revival. They've done incredible work in a very short time and are really responsible for revitalizing an area of New Orleans that so desperately needs it. Congratulations. Main streets achieve great things. We've learned that in 30 years. The Preservation Education Award goes to J. Randolph Harrelson of New Roads. Since, thank you. Since he arrived in Point Capi Parish, he has greatly added to the cultural vitality of the parish and the state. He has worked to restore the Lejeune House, a 200-year-old landmark in New Roads, and opened it to tours by the Louisiana Landmark Society and the historic New Orleans Collection. He also served as president of the Point Capi Historical Society and instituted innovative programs for the public's enjoyment. 
He's doing great, great work uh, in new roads, uh, including uh, uh, putting pen to paper to share a lot of that work and the historic assets with uh, visitors and tourists alike. Congratulations. This year's Preservation Leadership Award goes to A.C. Boudier of Lake Charles. A.C. AC is a lifelong resident of Lake Charles, and he's a true friend to preservation in Louisiana. He has actively promoted preservation in Southwest Louisiana for many years as a member of the Calcasieu Historical Preservation Society, the Arts and Humanities Councils, Friends of Central School, and the Southwest Louisiana Convention and Visitors Bureau. The list goes on. He's also represented his region through, at the Louisiana Trust for Historic Preservation. He has shown noble and noteworthy leadership and integrity in all of his work on behalf of preservation. A true leader. Congratulations, A.C. Boudier. The Preservation Heritage Award goes to the Preservation Resource Center of New Orleans, represented by its director this evening, Patty Gay. The PRC, the Preservation Resource Center, is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year as a leader in historic preservation in Louisiana and throughout the United States. The PRC has implemented a number of important programs to educate and advocate for preservation, demonstrating its effectiveness in advancing the cause. The organization publishes its award-winning monthly magazine, Preservation in Print, and works to advance preservation in the state. And I know Patty personally working to advance preservation inside the state and all across the country. They were so influential in working to restore New Orleans following Hurricane Katrina. I think you rewrote the book on what it means to be a preservation resource organization. Congratulations. And the next award is from the Shreveport area. I am so excited to announce that our Preservationist of the Year is Jean Sayers. Jean is a member of the Louisiana Trust for Historic Preservation and an advisor to the National Trust for Historic Preservation. She has galvanized Shreveport in several areas of preservation through ed education, advocacy, and more. She has successfully advocated for the inclusion of preservation in the Shreveport Caddo Master Plan and was instrumental in crafting the city's first historic preservation ordinance and founding Shreveport's Historic Preservation Commission. Congratulations, Jean Sayers. Accepting the award, uh, Sandy uh, could not get back to Louisiana from out of state for this evening, but sends her regards. Sandy is often described as the lifeblood of the Shreveport Regional Arts Council, bringing vigor and passion to the arts to the Southwest Louisiana community since 1978. Her work to connect the arts to city priorities resulted in a nationally recognized community cultural plan and a 30-year relationship with the National Endowment for the Arts. She and Academy Award-winning animation director William Joyce spearheaded the campaign to create Shreveport's first center for the creation of arts, Art Space, which is an initiative that has fueled the revitalization of downtown Shreveport. Today, Sandy is Shreveport's biggest champion for Shreveport Common. That's creative placemaking in action for the benefit of Shreveport, and we couldn't be more proud than to share this award with Sandy. Our next award uh, is the Lieutenant Governor's Passion for Culture Award, and it goes through the, uh, to the amazing Kathy Hambrick Jackson of Donaldsonville. And she is amazing. In addition to being an acclaimed grant writer, curator, educator, preservationist, and event planner, Kathy is credited with establishing one of the South's 
first museums dedicated to interpreting slavery and the achievements of African Americans in rural communities along the Mississippi River Road corridor. The River Road African American Museum has become a major repository for historical documents, oral histories, artifacts, and art related to African American culture in South Louisiana's river region. She was determined to develop the museum into an institution where visitors from around the world may become educated about our rich culture and history. And despite many challenges and limited resources, you really want to hear this part, that museum was selected as one of America's top 10 African American museums in 2005. Her leadership has been amazing and instrumental in that. Congratulations, Kathy. Such a well-deserved recognition. I'm pleased to ask Jacques Rodrigue, Executive Director of the George Rodrigue Foundation of the Arts, to join the Lieutenant Governor for our next award. This award goes to a Baton Rouge resident, so if there's an elected official from that area, feel free to join us. Sue Turner is a philanthropist and community activist who has worked to preserve historical sites and the arts. She is the matriarch of Turner Industries and serves as a member of its senior executive management board. She devotes her time and energy to her children and to multiple causes and organizations to positively impact Baton Rouge and Louisiana. Her contributions have garnered high praise from various agencies, many of which continue to seek her guidance and direction. Turner has repeatedly been recognized for her efforts, including receiving the National Association of County Park and Rec Officials Outstanding Contributor Award for her efforts to save Baton Rouge's Magnolia Mound Plantation from demolition. She's a lifetime trustee, for the National Trust for Historic Preservation, and along with Winnie Bird, founded the Louisiana Trust for Historic Preservation. A distinguished, distinguished history of incredible work on behalf of arts and culture. Thank you to Sue Turner for her many years of service. small town and didn't have opportunity to see museum quality art that I would recognize the name of the artist. And so I decided if I ever could, I would try to do as much as I could so other children would have that opportunity. What was your reaction when you found out that you'd won the award? Well, I was very happy, of course, and it's always uh, supporting to have people know that they have respect for you and appreciate what you've been able to do. So I'm happy to be here tonight. The reason I support the arts is because I think it's very expanding on an individual. Also, one of the focus uh, points that I have is I enjoy helping mentoring younger artists in their endeavors in uh, becoming professional artists. What was your reaction when you found out that you won the award as Artist of the Year? Well, I, I really, I did, I not only didn't expect it, but I certainly didn't believe it, and I was extremely honored and very, very happy and flattered and uh, I'm, I'm just excited to be here. It's, it's a great award. I appreciate it very much. It has just really been very, very exciting to learn about the history in the river parishes in the area known as Plantation Country. So I am the founder and director of the River Road African American Museum, which is dedicated to preserving the history of African Americans in the river parish area along the Mississippi River. What was your reaction when you found out that you'd won the award? Oh, my goodness. Um, 
I was very excited and um, I think my board of directors and all of my volunteers were as excited as I am. So this is quite an honor. Why is it important? Because it fills up our life with wonderful thoughts and wonderful sights and we learn history and we learn to enjoy all the things around us and appreciate what other people do. What was your reaction when you found out that you'd won the award? Surprised, overwhelmed, but excited.